The most common sports injuries to the foot and ankle include ankle sprains, midfoot sprains, tendonitis, stress fractures, heel pain. The Achilles tendon is a large rope-like structure on the back of your ankle. It inserts into your heel, and if you move up towards the knee, it's made up of two muscle groups. You can get rupture of this tendon, you can have a tear of the tendon, and you can also have inflammation of the sheath around the tendon, or also degeneration of the tendon, which is not tendonitis, it's tendinosis. Treating Achilles tendon injuries typically involves rest and immobilization to allow inflammation to come down. If the tendon's ruptured, then we have to immobilize in a cast to, in, to reapproximate the tendon ends back together, or we take the patient to surgery and surgically reapproximate the tendon ends with the suture. How do ankle sprains happen? Ankle sprains typically happen once an athlete jumps up in the air, comes down and lands wrong, or they're running and they step on an uneven surface and they roll their foot underneath their lower leg. Treating a ankle sprain is based on severity. Some ankle sprains come into the office, the patient can't even walk. So in that case, I give them some time. I immobilize them in a walking boot and tell them to not walk on it. I then progress them to a walking boot, which is the boot I told them not to walk on, and allow them to walk on that, continuing the icing and elevation and swelling control. And then at that point, once their pain is even further down, I'm able to get them into a lower profile lace-up ankle brace. This is external support for an ankle sprain that is still weak, but pain-free. The further rehab that I do with ankle sprains in includes balance training and also strength training. Stress fractures are very common. They can occur by training errors, most commonly in an athletic population basically ramping up mileage or your training schedule too quickly. They can be caused by being in the wrong equipment, in this case shoes. If you're in the wrong shoes for your foot type or the wrong shoe for the activity, that can put your foot in danger also of a stress fracture. It's important to not do too much too soon, especially if you're going from an inactive lifestyle to an active lifestyle. It's important to make sure you're in the right shoes for your foot type. A podiatrist can help you with this, and a lot of the local running shoe stores can also do this for you. Also, I encourage people to train in groups. Don't train by yourself if you're new to a sport. There are some great groups locally that you can train with, and they'll not only encourage you as you go along, but they'll also be watchful over not allowing people to overtrain.